I just poured a silicone mold that, by the way, will be another vlog slash tutorial. But while waiting for it to dry, I thought of telling you another anecdote that occurred to me almost a year ago. So as I just said, about a year ago, this gallery here in Antwerp contacted a friend of mine asking him to recommend them an artist for a solo show. And this friend very generously gave them my name. So he called me, he said that there was this gallery here that was interested in my work, they wanted to offer me a solo show, and asked if we perhaps could meet over lunch. Now I was very busy at that time, I did some research on the gallery, and honestly I didn't really like their program, I didn't think that my work would fit in it. But my friend told me not to be too judgmental, to give them the benefit of the doubt, he also said that they had a wide network of collectors, and that after all the show would take too much of my time because I already had a series of sculptures that could be exhibited immediately. And he had a point, and also to honor my friendship with this person, I agreed to meet with the gallery. You have to know that the gallerist and I had never met, so I went to the appointment with the idea to get to know each other, to see if there was some chemistry between us, and eventually to discuss the possibility of an exhibition. But at the lunch meeting, before even ordering, the gallerist presented me a contract that was already written out. It was a standard contract, there was nothing wrong or suspicious in it. I was surprised by the directness of the approach. I thought that we would discuss these details in a later stage. But you know, after having met so many people that just talk and don't take action, I welcomed the assertiveness of this gallerist. The man specified that he knew my work and he wanted to schedule a solo exhibition at the gallery within two months and that he wanted to show as many sculptures as possible. So after lunch we went to see the gallery and I was surprised how small it was. It consisted mainly of one room which was about 5 by 5 meters but it had a library and a desk so they already occupied some space. Then at the back of the room there was a corridor which opened to another even more little room which was about 3 meter by 4. I wasn't even sure if my larger sculptures like these two here at my back would even fit through the door of the gallery and if they did they would occupy all the space, making it difficult to distance yourself from the sculpture and observe it or appreciate it from the right vantage point. Visitors wouldn't be able to comfortably walk around the sculpture to look at it from different point of view. And on top of that he wanted to add more sculptures of mine, hang drawings on the wall, in the corridor he wanted to make a portrait gallery and in the small room at the back he wanted to put even more pieces. The whole space would be jammed with sculptures. But the gallerist was really keen on showing my work and he tried to convince me by elaborating on the high profile of his collectors. They were coming from Switzerland, from Monaco, even the Belgian royal family was among his clients and he would offer shuttle services to pick them up from their hotels, there was a red carpet, champagne. He also boldly stated that he was 100% confident that he could sell the majority of my works, if not everything. Now that was all very impressive, but I still was reluctant on propping all my work into that small space. In any case, we arranged a second meeting here at my studio. So he came, he saw the works, he was impressed by them, but he realized that we couldn't fit them all in the gallery. So what I proposed is to show just a selection of sculptures in the gallery and if there were collectors that were really serious, we could invite them for a private studio visit. After all, the studio is just a 15 minute drive from the gallery. That proposal sounded reasonable to both of us, so he asked me to send him a PDF with a list of all the available works so that we could start thinking about more practical things. After the studio visit, since it was pouring outside, he gave me a ride home. And while chit-chatting in the car, he asked me where I was originally from. That was a strange question for me, because I thought he did his research. Anyway, I told him the usual answer, that I'm originally from Iraq, but I've never been there, I grew up in Italy, and so forth and so forth. And from that moment on, immediately something changed. There was a lot of awkwardness in the air. And there was also a lot of silence from then on. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe it was just a wrong assumption of mine, maybe I'm too sensitive to that kind of things. In any case, the fact is that that same evening I received an email from the gallerist saying that he decided not to go through with the exhibition because he did some calculations and he realized that even if he would sell everything, he would not be able to cover the costs of the exhibition. Now, I don't know what their expenses are, but I know that all my work combined is worth more than 300,000 euro. 
and as you may or may not know, galleries usually take 50% commission. That would leave them with 150,000 euros to cover the expenses of a five-week exhibition. According to my calculations, these expenses would not amount to even 10% of that. Now, I don't know how fancy that opening was supposed to be, but unless they were planning of serving trays of freshly cut cocaine to their guests, then there was no way that they could not have covered the expenses of that exhibition. And by the way, if you are so sure that you can sell all the works, but still not be able to cover the expenses with the revenue, then just raise the prices of the works. In any case, since I cannot know the truth, I'm not going to speculate about the reasons behind such a sudden 180 turn. I'm leaving it here open for interpretation and discussion. And again, maybe I don't see things clearly, maybe I took it too personally, perhaps I uh, missed or overlooked something. If this is the case, please let me know, leave your comments below. I'm very curious to know what you think about it. I just decided to share this story and many more will come in the future to show the behind the scenes of the art world, which to outsiders might only look glamorous and fancy. I also want to bring awareness to the young aspiring artists who want to be part of this world. I want to share my experiences, both good and bad, to contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of this environment. I didn't prepare any deep philosophical conclusion about this story. I could have, but I decided to just put it out there as it is, and you decide what to make out of it. But please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm very curious about your interpretation of this event. Enough talking, that was my rant for today. Now I need to get back to work.